We got some Canes over here. College football season is right here, and we had to bring in the number one Miami Hurricanes expert in South Florida. You know what? Anywhere. Uh, to, to talk about the Canes this year, Peter Reeves from canesinsight.com, outthehuddle.com, the number one Canes insider. We brought him in here to talk about Miami Hurricanes season preview. So we're going to jump right into it. Let's talk about what everyone wants to know. Who's going to play QB? Well, last week Malik Rozier was named the starter by Mark Rick. And this is a guy you have to give him a lot of credit really improved over the spring and summer and now into the first portion of this fall camp. Uh, and he's a guy who's going to bring some mobility to the position for Miami. The number one thing with him, got to stay consistent with his accuracy, limit those turnovers, because this is going to be a Miami team this year who defensively can really win a lot of ball games on that side of the football. So if that quarterback play can stay solid, stay consistent, doesn't make too many mistakes, I think Rozier uh, could be a positive guy for the Canes this season. So there you have it. You have a lot of veteran leadership under Rozier. And again, you think a couple of the other QBs might play too this year, right? Right. Mark Richt has left the option open uh, to play a, a couple other guys. The thing is, he doesn't want to be splitting reps. He doesn't want to go two series one quarterback, two series another guy. The one to look out for here, freshman Nikosi Perry, enrolled in May. So he came in a little bit later than you would have liked him to if you really wanted him uh, to go out there and win this starting job day one. Uh, but he's someone who has the best physical skill set of the quarterbacks on this Miami roster. Best arm. He can really move around back there as well. So as he continues to pick up the playbook, pick up the speed of the game in the college level as well, I think he's going to be someone who Miami uses at times this year, potentially. If there's a lull uh, in the offense or, look, this team could still be winning games, but if they just need a spark offensively, I think that Perry is someone who could provide that potentially as long as he continues to progress under Mark Richt over these first uh, you know, few weeks of the season. So definitely a lot to watch for under center. We're talking about some of the questions, Mark. Which position group do you think is the biggest question mark going into the year? Well, look, there's some depth issues right now at running back and tight end, but the group that I'm really you know, keying in on right now is that offensive line group, especially after that first uh, team. I would say that the depth there is still not where you need it to be. If there's an injury or two there, you could be in some trouble. There's a lot of young guys pushing for early playing time. Devon Donaldson, freshman at right guard. He's going to be starting. You have Casey McDermott at left tackle. You have Tyree St. Louis at right tackle. But you have some depth issues there. Again, behind that, a guy like Corey Gaynor, a freshman, is going to have to be in that rotation. And whenever you're relying at young guys at that position, it's not the most steady situation. So that's just something I'm going to be watching for throughout the season. Now, I saw a little pep in your step earlier when you mentioned the defense. So let's talk about the biggest strength going into this season for the Hurricanes. I'm looking at that defensive line group. Coach Cool did a great job with them in his first season. Everyone knew what he was coming in here with, the resume that he came in from Missouri with, and the guys that he's produced. Combining that with what Manny Diaz likes to do schematically, it really meshed well for this defense. That defensive line group, they are extremely deep. You have two guys inside and Kendrick Norton and uh, RJ McIntosh. And then on the end spot, you're just loaded with Chad Thomas, Joseph Jackson, Demetrius Jackson, Trent Harris. I mean, you have a freshman in Jonathan Garvin as well. So that's just a loaded group right there. I think they're going to de definitely wreck some havoc early on and throughout this season. Now, Pete, you're as plugged in as they come. We all read the work on canesinsight.com. So I, I need some breakout players, and I think you're the one to give it to us. Who's your breakouts? I have two guys on each side of the football and two freshmen. On the offensive side of the ball, Mike Harley, local guy, St. Thomas Aquinas, and he has just torn it up early uh, you know, on Green Tree practice field at Miami. Explosive player downfield, really adds that element of speed to this Miami offense that they desperately need. And then I'll go with Chris Herndon at the tight end spot. He's someone who's a veteran now. He's known uh, around the country at this point. But him and David Njoku, if you remember, were splitting a lot of the reps. They're on the field a lot together. Um, but he's going to be that primary target at tight end, and it's not a very uh, deep group as well. So they're going to rely on him a ton. I think his numbers are going to go through the roof this season. I think he's going to be on the radar of a lot of NFL guys after this season. And then on the defensive side of the ball, I'll go with another freshman in Jonathan Garvin, someone who enrolled early, another guy, local kid out of Lake Worth, uh, Florida. And he just came in and did incredible in spring. Coach Kuligowski had rave reviews from day one about this guy. Length, explosive off the edge. 
Uh, he's going to be someone I think in passing situations really makes an impact for this defense. Uh, and that says a lot considering, like we just mentioned, the depth on that defensive line. And then Dee Delaney, the grad transfer from the Citadel, he's someone coming in that I know coaches are really, really excited about coming in, again, not from the biggest name school, but he's someone that NFL scouts were already taking a very hard look at at the end of last season, came to Miami, wants to up his draft stock, brings a lot of physicality there, a lot of experience, really excited to see what Dee Delaney can do on this defense. All right, Pete. Well, there you have it. We want to hear it. We, you know, it's Saturday's coming up. We want three bold predictions. Hurricanes fan, Hurricane fans want to know. Give us three bold predictions. I have three of them. First one, obviously, defensive side of the ball. We just talked about it. We just talked about the depth of that defensive line. I think this defensive line can lead the country in sacks this season. That's how deep they are up front. I mean, I didn't even mention a guy like Scott Patchen coming back from injury who I think is going to be able to get them into the mix. Behind those two guys in the inside, in McIntosh and Norton, you have depth with Patrick Bethel, Anthony Moten, another St. Thomas Aquinas guy. So they are so loaded. Coach Cool did, a, like I said, great job with those guys last year. And you know he's just adding to the arsenal with those guys. You know, got someone like Joseph Jackson had an incredible freshman season, and I think he's just ready to take that next step. So that defensive line, I think, can lead the country in sacks. They'll be up there in tackles for loss as well. My second bold prediction is that Nikosi Perry will start a game for the Hurricanes at some point this season. Like I said, it doesn't need to necessarily be that Malik Rozier is struggling and this team is, is not winning games. I think that even if this team is, you know, goes 6-1, and one, for example, through that first half of the schedule, maybe losing a game to Florida State, and they just need a, a boost offensively, they just need a little spark. If Nikosi Perry continues to progress the way that I believe and from what I've heard he's doing on a week-in and week-out basis, uh, then I think he's still going to have something to say about this job at some point this season. Again, Coach Rick has left the door open for that to happen. And then my third bold prediction, I don't know how bold you would, you would call this, but I have Miami winning the Coastal. I would call it a bold prediction just because they haven't done it yet in, in all the years they've been in the ACC. But I think things set up for them well, even with the uncertainty still at that quarterback position, the strength of that defense and the playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. We went this whole time without even mentioning Mark Walton, who's Miami's best player, you could argue. So I think they'll rely on him heavily, that run game, and the playmakers on the outside. And I think that ACC Coastal is theirs to lose. You heard it from the best in the biz. The Canes looking to punch that ticket to ACC Championship. But first, they kick off the season Saturday, September 2nd, against Bethune-Cookman, a game you can watch right here with us. Huge thanks, best in the biz, Peter Rees, canesinsight.com and outthehuddle.com. Check them out for more, and we'll see you Saturday.